<laughs> and we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yeah, our exactly. Fortnite live stream. We've got a beautiful go. matchup for you. We have the Lane Lunt, and he will be facing off against the one and only Blake Freeland, who's rumored by 24-7 Sports to be a uh, first-round draft pick next year. Hey, to yeah, I saw that. Draft. That was lit. Yeah, so, um, honestly, I saw this coming from a you know, mile away. Um, coined the phrase, late night train Lunt. No one else knows what that is, but <laughs> let me tell you, my man's a machine. He's uh, He has no feelings. He just kind of runs people over um, and scores touchdowns. So, I mean, I love it. I think it's kind of obvious there. Mason, what do you have to add to this? Uh, I know I go to BYU, but I'm putting my money on the underdog, Blake Freeland, only because when he gets that first round money, I better be first in line. <laughs> I'm moving with him. So, <laughs> love it. Love it. Actually, I'm gonna drop it. Actually, never mind. I can hey, Trevor and Jake, you got a second? We just wanted to, uh, we're here on our live stream. We're way off schedule from what we told you, but we're still wanting to call you in and get a, get a quick report from you. I'm here with uh, Houston Hamuli, who's a fullback uh, stand, transfer from Stanford, and uh, Mason Wake, who I'm sure you know, fullback tight end at BYU. What's up, what up, bro? Maybe. Cool, we just wanted to, so there's like obviously a lot of stuff going on in the transfer portal right now. Seneca Knight um, just announced sure. that he's in the portal up here. today. And you've been helping out with some recruits. Uh, can we just get your thoughts Bro, maybe a little bit on all the turbulence with the BYU basketball team Sorry, right now? Or if that's the word you'd use, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, like you said, we have a lot of turnover right now, but um, I feel like a lot of Cougar fans need to just kind I got of a rift. You know, take a deep breath because Coach Pope knows what he's doing. Yeah. Um, we had two really big time recruits. Uh, we had Rudy and Antoine in this past week. Okay. Um, I met Antoine yesterday and today, and this kid, he yeah, is probably nice. let's see, he's probably six one, six two, one sixty five, but is just a hooper. Yeah. Um, he. He's on track. If he has the same year as he did last year, he'll become the number one Man, this is my um, points in college basketball for a career in like all college basketball. Oh, so he'll pass uh, Pistol Pete, which is really impressive. Yeah, Pistol Pete, um, he averaged like 40 plus points a game, right? <laughs> yeah, he, Pistol Pete was incredible. Yeah. So this kid's on track. Holy crap. He had the same yeah, year last year. Most squad up here? Most squad up here? And you, got, you, uh, you helped out with his recruiting visit. Uh, how did it go? What did you say? Oh, you What's your input on that? Um, it went super well. So he uh, he came in Thursday night, and me and uh, Foose, we were fortunate enough to go to Ruth's Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So... <laughs> We had a great meal, and then oh my gosh. Um, Coach Bo kind of took shot. him under his wing. And, uh, we went and did like some shooting workouts with him. So uh, he did uh, a lifting workout because he wants to put on a couple more pounds. And then, so we're we're optimistic about him. He's going to make his decision in the next couple of days. And then Rudy, Rudy was a he's a great dude. I love Rudy. He um, he's super outgoing. I think Cougar fans are really going to like him. He that's crazy. Shane, I don't know what I did. Trevor, no! This is my phone. What did you do? I take full responsibility. We lost him. And we'll never, it's over. We won't call him back. At least not this time. <laughs> He's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jake? Sorry, Mason hung up on you. Okay. Oh, wow. I wow. I talk too much. I get it. I get it. Wow. I was getting bored. Sorry. <laughs> no, you, you were saying about, uh, about Rudy. Sorry. <laughs> There's a kid too. Hey, I was just saying, Rudy's Rudy. probably going to be a fan favorite. He's going to decide probably between us, Oregon State, and San Diego State in the next couple days. So if Cougar fans can hit okay, him and Antoine up, that'd be huge. Well, really need these two guys. Um, I think this uh, Rudy kid can really help us as well as Antoine just to spread the floor and oh, make no. plays yeah, and, that? you know, just build a driving kick and just get other guys involved. So if Cougar, if Cougar fans just, uh, show some love, awesome. well, we need it right now. That's what's up. Hey, this is Houston here. Um, I do have a question. Like you're saying, these guys are deciding between, you know, multiple schools. But if you had a hazard, either a guess or like a percentage of how much they're leaning towards BYU, uh, what would you say that would be like? Like, um, I think Antoine is, he's 
between us and Kansas State, um, that's kind of like the rumor right now. And I think it's 50-50 between us and them. We offer a lot. Kansas State obviously offers different stuff than BYU does. But I think just the atmosphere and what we bring to the table is in terms of BYU, like you know how it is. Um, so I think it's 50-50 there. And then Rudy, I think we're we're the front runner right now. So I think percentage-wise, I think we – we should be able to land hey, him Ryan, and can, uh, unless he really likes the West Coast. Oh, <laughs> uh, true. That's true. Hey, big pop, yeah, Rudy right? was super cool. I uh, I reached out to Rudy to come talk with us tonight, and he seemed on board. And I think his receptiveness is a pretty good indicator that he's uh, wow. likes BYU at least, right? He's willing to talk with us at Coop Connect oh, why are these and guys things like that. Exactly. I, I was going to tag him on one of my posts, and he, he hit me up, and he's already commented. He's like, hey, let's get it. So, I mean, I think it's a good sign. So, nice. I think Cougar fans should be excited. I got a question for you, Trevor. This is Mason Wake. Uh, what is the most points you scored in a game? In a game? Yeah. Because <laughs> I want to compare how many I've, I've scored. 44. Dude, I scored 45. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Junior Jazz in like seventh grade, I scored 45 of our 47 points. Me and all my buddies played, and they do not play basketball. So I got you beat there. <laughs> no, that's, that's fair. How many touchdowns have you scored yeah. in a game? I've scored five. Uh, you beat me. I've only scored three. <laughs> <laughs> that was in like eighth grade, so I don't know if you can count that, but both mine you can't count. <laughs> Dude, Trevin, we gotta get uh, we gotta get the hoops guys and the football guys together for some kind of event, whether it's nickel cage, nickel cage game or basketball. We play basketball. I know we do. But... This is like rumor, like the stereotypical stuff that basketball and football don't match. So we gotta do something all together. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we could. I think play some hoops maybe or bowling or nickel mania. We've been playing basketball like every day, so we're ready. <laughs> we are ready for a 5 foot 11 us, shooter over oh, here. Oh, right here. <laughs> yeah. Three multi-sport athletes. Oh, uh, sure. Blake Freeland could be. <laughs> actually, yeah, Blake, Blake they, actually could be. They have Blake. You just feed the post to Blake, oh, man. Blake's a three-point shooter, Blake, though. Blake, tell Blake to come try out. Blake, <laughs> Blake doesn't do the dirty work. He plays He plays out in the perimeter, so. <laughs> He's a stretch five. <laughs> Well, also, Trevin, uh, appreciate you, man. Appreciate everything you're doing with Coot Connect and uh, be willing to come on with us. You guys got any th last thoughts or questions for Trevin? No? Oh, that's good. No, we're all good. Thanks for everything, Trevin. Uh, we'll give Rudy one more call, see if uh, we can get him to pick up. But uh, you have a good night, and thanks for taking some time with us. Hey, I appreciate you guys having me. See you, boys. See you, Trevin. See you, Trevin. See you, Trev. See you, Trev. See you Buds.